What's up guys, it's your boy Ace here, and in this video I'm going to be going over all the pros drop spots for this upcoming Grand Finals in NA East. Big shout out to Fortnite Comp Report, if you guys want updated maps like this, go to his Twitter or join his Discord, he updates them pretty frequently. Now, I do want to mention this is a couple days before Grand starts, so this map is subject to change and it definitely will change a little bit, but for now I'm just going to be going on what this map's about. And in this I'm just going to be going over each drop, who's contested, and how I think they're going to do. So we'll start off with the actual name POIs, and first we'll go to Breakwater Bay. So we got Clarity and Casker. They did actually pop off in some of the weekly finals. I do think they definitely have an opportunity to get top 10 at least, but they could still be conned. But again, I'm just going to go off what the map is right now. And same with Walker and Vert. They've been playing very consistently, and they're honestly kind of a sleeper pick. They did really good in the FNCS finals that they made, and I do think they could also get a top 10 or possibly a top 5. Now, probably most of your guys' favorite pick to win, Clicks and Donnie. They are contested by Glace and Mason, but I don't think they're actually going to fight off spawn. So Glace has actually claimed the right side of Anvil, so I would be pretty surprised if they fight most of the time, but if they do, I obviously think Clicks will come out on top. Let's be honest, way, way superior fighters than Glace and Mason. So I don't think they're going to be looking for much of a fight. Next, we got Shattered Slavs being somewhat contested by Muzz and Degen and Tai and Death. Now, Tai and Death have actually done really good in the weekly finals, so I do think they have a solid chance of performing well. I don't know about top 10. And Muzz and Degen, I would like to say they would do good. Like, they made every weekly finals, but like, they didn't do that good in them. I think their best placement was like 25th or something like that. So they're really consistent in opens, but in finals, they just don't really, you know, pop off but obviously that could change now over at frenzy fields pam's doing fetch versus dubs and except i really don't know how this one's gonna go i don't think either of them are gonna do that good because obviously you know when you're contested you have very low chance of actually you know popping off so i really don't see either of these teams doing too good and we got faulty splits now pretty much uncontested agers in canada they're definitely gonna pop off i guess i'll technically count this as faulty since it pretty much is but i don't see jack or mega doing good especially contesting this little portion there's like a very high chance agers and canada are just gonna go clean that up instantly agers and canada easily top five i want to say they're gonna win because i've just been every single fncs i've been saying canada's gonna win but they've been looking good so maybe this one will actually be you know it now we'll head on to Slappy Shores, and we got the big, big teams here. Booga and Peterbot and Acorn and Cold. Obviously, Booga and Peterbot have done really, really well this season so far. And honestly, I've been kind of disappointed in Acorn and Cold's performance. Like, they popped off when they first started playing together, but during FNCS Finals, they didn't really look too hot. Obviously, they were contested for, I think, two out of the three weeks, but even when they were uncon, they weren't performing that good i'm sure they'll you know pop off though and at least get top 10 you know you kind of expect them to get top 10 with an uncon poi like this so i don't think yeah i don't think they're gonna play super super highly but i mean we'll see i hope they i hope they can win but you know now we'll head over to brutal bastion season tragics and aviv and skittles i actually think aviv and skittles could do really good here i did not realize they even made grands if i'm being honest but skittles is the type of player to like either fully pop off or just not do that good and considering they got a really good drop you know essentially on con since they're splitting uh, i could see them definitely getting top 10 season tragics mm, i don't know i can see them getting you know top 25 but really maybe top 10 but i don't think they do better than that and threats and macwood this is another team i do think can get a top 10 i'm gonna be saying this probably a lot about players but it really just depends how, how they play on the day. But Threats and Macwood, they could definitely pop off and, you know, even they definitely have a chance of winning. Lonely Labs unconned. That's where I land. Lonely Labs is low-key pretty underrated. It is hard to get Surge, but I know Macwood lands up on this hill and tries to get Surge, you know, on the teams around him. So we'll see how that goes. Now, I think we got all the POIs down, so I'm going to go around the map to the, some splits here. Now we got Miro and Edgy, another fan favorite. Obviously, I do think they can get a top 10. They got a really good drop here. Um, the only thing is that Surge might be a little rough, but if this little, you know, triple contest is happening, they could probably sneak up and get some tags on them if they're fighting. 
Same with Muzz and uh, Tahi down here. But I have a feeling these teams aren't going to stay here. But I guess we'll see. And obviously, this saying, I don't think any of these teams are going to do good. If they are triple cutting each other, that's definitely like, I don't see them getting better than like top 40. Like, none of these teams are, I know, I think Hound and Aiden, it's their first grands. Um, and obviously, TK and Pledge and then Crackly and Joe. I think they made grands before. I know, obviously, TK has, but... They, they, these are teams that haven't had any super pop-off performances in a grand. So even if they had that uncon, I'd be skeptical to even put them in the top 10. Then we got Nani and Larson and Byla and Enpen. I don't know much about this drop, but obviously it being contested, not going to look good. Both these teams are really good. So I can see this definitely coming out as like a even 6-6 six, six type of deal. And they're probably maybe going to get top 25, maybe. It really just depends on how these teams do after they fight. But Quanti and Scare, this is actually one of my favorite picks to do really good this FNCS. They Scare is a absolute controller demon, and Quanti is obviously a really good IGL. So I could definitely, I'm definitely gonna put them down as getting at least top ten, if not better. Then Subscript and Haji, um, I don't know, cause I haven't really seen them place this season, if I'm being honest. I haven't really looked out for the name, so maybe they've done good and I haven't really, you know, seen. But I don't think they're going to get... I don't think they're going to do too hot. Also considering this isn't the most loot either. And then that brings us over to Spade and Chimp. I, I do think Spade and Chimp are going to win. I can definitely see them like 8-4-ing Aoxy, to be honest. Like, I don't think they're going to... Either team's going to do too good. But maybe Spade and Chimp can pull through with the top 10. They've done it before. Now... I don't think they've done it conned, but like, obviously they're good players. So I guess we'll see. Encrypted and Ducky. Mm, this is an interesting team. They got a really good split. They could do really good, but they also could do really bad. It's kind of that like one or the other type deal, I think. So I'm going to say they're probably going to get like a top 20, but I don't know about much else. Chubbs and Bryce. This is another pretty good team as well. I think they could probably get a top 20 again edge map like this not the best loot not the worst loot you know could definitely see them getting a top 20 here low and Nawson on the other hand th i don't see them doing very good they're gonna get farmed by surge from acorn and cold we've seen this in weekly finals before i don't see them doing too hot they can maybe get a top 25 maybe but i don't see them doing much better than that then we got nick and Nix. they got a pretty decent split over here but i really don't think that they're gonna do too hot either i mean they could like again, I said they could probably pop off and maybe get a top 10, but considering this isn't the best amount of loot and it's probably going to be pretty hard to get good surge, especially if they pull zone, I just don't see them, you know, getting that top 10, but they could definitely get like a top 25 for sure. And crazy GG and playify again, kind of the same deal. I could see them doing good, but like with this spot, it's really not the best. Like I again, surge is probably gonna be a big problem for them if they don't if they end up pulling zone. So I, I I'm gonna say like top 30 maybe. Sphinx and Shadow. They actually got a really, really good drop here on Cond. I'm kinda surprised because this is where Queasy and Vino land for grands uh, on EU. But I haven't really seen them place too highly this season, I don't think. I like I, I haven't really seen them at all. So this is another team that I I mean, they could definitely get a top 10 just because they have such good loot on con, but I don't think it's very likely. And we got Smite and Cam conning Nut and Nosh. And, and you know, whenever you're conned, it's just like kind of a GG's go next for Grands, at least doing well. But I don't know. I mean, both teams are really good fighting off spawn. So I, I could see this easily being like a 6-6 six, six type deal where they just go even. So it'd really just be how they play afterwards. So maybe, maybe a top 25 for both of them. Depends how well they play on the day. Serbs and Rapid. Um, I don't think there's much loot up here. And they're pretty inexperienced Grands players. So I don't think that they're going to do too hot. I'd say maybe, maybe top 30. Probably like a, a bottom 40 though. And we got Trashy and Pump versus Aaron and Naves. I don't know how experienced Aaron and Naves are. I think they're fairly, like, you know, newcomer ups. And obviously, Trashy and Pump are really good fighting teams. So I could see this being like another uh, chimp type deal where they're going to, like, 8 4 off spawn. If they even do fight off spawn, I haven't really landed up here. 
so i don't know too much about it so maybe they'll split it they probably won't though but yeah i think trashy and pump could probably get like a like a top 20 arian knaves probably like a maybe a top 30. obviously we'll see jackson j and d roller i haven't really seen them play this much either but they do have a pretty solid drop on cons and if they are able to quickly clean up this fight versus user and polarized but if they are able to quickly you know run and get some tags on this fight versus blake and users um they could get some free surge off of that but other than that i don't really see them doing too well maybe a top 20 i know i'm saying a lot of top 20s but like you know obviously it just depends how they play on the day and then users versus blake um I, this is like a straight 50 50 but i'm not even kidding every single finals blake and bizzle have gotten absolutely shit on by polarized and users like it hasn't even been close so i'm saying this is gonna be like a 10-2 i'm gonna be honest like polarized and blake uh, or polarized and users i should say have had such a convincing like fight versus blake and bizzle every time like they always end up on top Maybe 10 to 2 is a little bit too much. Maybe like an 8, eight to 4. But even 8 to 4 is still, you know, pretty solid. But this is a POI. Or this is a split where you, you can't split. Like, they're literally 50 50 each other for loot. So, yeah. And I don't... Blake and Bizzle did do really good in Surge Week. But obviously, that's against, you know, not the best teams. The, the top 40 best teams are not there. And even if they were uncons, I'd probably say they'd maybe get top 20. But yeah, I think... Bizzle and Blake aren't doing better than 40th, if I'm going to be honest. Polarized, I could maybe, maybe a top 30. I don't know. The same thing with Polarized and Users, um, as some of the other teams I mentioned, is that they haven't really done that good in Grands. Like, I think Polarized, I mean, obviously, I, is the Users won an FNCS, right? Yeah, he won an FNCS. That was forever ago. <laughs> I almost completely forgot about that. But Polarized hasn't even came top 10 in an FNCS yet. Obviously, though, he's like one of the best fighters. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see with that team. Joji and Rokane versus... I mean, they're kind of contesting. Not really. But I can see Joji and Rokane doing pretty good. Obviously, Joji came back this season from a break. Um, Joji's one of those players where they either get, like, bottom 15 or, like, top 15, if I'm being honest. Uh, Fazo and Stacky, another pretty unexperienced team. I'd say bottom 40 or bottom 10. Um, I don't see him doing too well. Also, this loot's just obviously not the best. Then we got Yamzo and Rise and Mu and Braids. There has been a lot of beef about this spawn fight. Mu does not want to leave Yamzo and Rise, even though I'm pretty sure Yamzo and Rise has beaten them more off spawn. But I could see this being like a, I don't know. I could see this being a pretty even spawn fight uh, for games. Like I've seen tourneys where Mu and Braids have won most of the time, and then Yamzo and Rise have won most of the time. So it's kind of split to be honest but i think yamzo and rise will do a lot better in the end games that they make it all spawn so for that i'll put them top 20 and then moon braids like top 30. butto and monk and snake and redux this is a really bad contested spot i just i don't see either of these teams doing good at all so i'm gonna say maybe top 40. reciprocal and revise they're a decent team but they're not landing on the best loot so i'd say probably middle of the pack top 30 top 25 around there now triple cons noxy Ocus, time chaos and scented dukes uh i know this is time and chaos gaming's first grands i think this is time's first earnings ever i don't think he's earned yet except for this grands so i mean this is a shit show i don't really see any of these teams doing good like double cons like say if it was like scented or Ocus versus just chaos I could see them probably 8 4ing, maybe, maybe. But considering it's triple cons, none of these teams are going to really do too good. So maybe I'll give like Scented and Dukes and Noxie and Ocus like a top 30 or 40. But to be honest, I don't see Chaos really doing like maybe top 45. That's kind of being generous, I feel like. We'll see if any of them leave though. That's still up for, uh, that's still an option. Okay, I think I covered everybody. So I'm going to get my top five real quick. First, I think Kanata and Agers. Second, we'll go Booga and Peterbot. Third, I'll say Acorn and Cold. I feel like they're gonna, you know, come come back and pop off. Fourth, I'm gonna say Miro and Edgy. Fifth, I'm gonna say Quanti and Scare. I think they're gonna 
you know, come out of nowhere and kind of pop off. Um, but yeah, let me know what your guys' top five is. I know mine's, <laughs> I know this video's kind of been all over the place, but thank you guys so much for watching. Please do leave a like and consider using code ACE in the Fortnite item shop if you did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.